Here is a list of items I asked ChatGPT to find that are worth lots of money. Now, what if I told you I was able to get all of the items on this list for anywhere from five to $30 each? That's like $40,000 in profit. And in this training, I guarantee you are gonna learn exactly how this works step-by-step step so that at the end, you can go and do it for yourself and make money that you get to keep. But first, a little story. Back when I was about eight years old, I was a skateboarder. We would ride our skateboards up and down the street, up and down the ramps, pretty much everywhere I went, my skateboard went with me. And one day, my brother and I were skateboarding and we looked down in the gutter next to the street. I don't know what it is with being eight, but you're fascinated with the gutter. Go figure. And in that gutter, I remember my eyes widened and I got really, really excited. I looked back to see if my brother, in fact, saw what I saw sitting there in the gutter. Then I reached down and grabbed $40. And back in the 80s, 40 bucks was a lot more than it is today. And when you're eight years old, $40 is a lot of money. And we were so excited to find that $40 because we didn't really have to work for it. We didn't have to do anything. We just reached down and got it. And immediately, before this even hit my wallet, we were at Target buying video games. And I remember we bought Excite Bike and Kung Fu. And eventually we learned how to beat the entire game of Kung Fu in a couple of hours, but it was a memory I'll never forget. And it was all made possible by finding free money. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use ChatGPT and three free tools to find money online in a super simple way. And I urge you to watch this entire video. And if you get through this entire video and you think what I have to say isn't exactly what I promised, or you don't think you can do it, or quite frankly, you think I'm kind of full of it and this won't make you any money. I want you to say that in the comments below. That's right, I'm actually letting you be the judge of this video. But, and I do have a big but, if you get value out of this video and you think, like I do, this is the kind of thing you can go and use right now and start putting money in your pocket, yeah, like game-changing money, money that'll pay for your mortgage or your car or put your kids through school, yep, these are all things this exact method did for me. And today, I'm gonna show you everything step by step. And if you're thinking, well, Marcus, you've been doing this 23 years. I'm sure you know a few things that I probably don't know. And that is why we're gonna be using ChatGPT. You see, this year, AI has kind of leveled the playing field. And it's made it extremely simple for ordinary people like me and you and other would-be entrepreneurs able to find money in places they never thought it existed before. So, if you're ready to learn exactly how we're gonna use this method, see solid proof of how it works and how I've been doing this for 23 years, learn the three tools and the tips that are gonna make ChatGPT literally go out there and find you money, then smash a like button, because we're starting right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Today we are going to put this to the test and find some free money on the internet. So if you wanna find free money on the internet, smash that like button and everything like that. And hopefully we're back online. I know we did have a little bit of a crash just a minute ago. If we're back, let me know by typing something in the back, uh, in the box, and uh, we're gonna dive in here. We got a lot to cover. Apparently the uh, program can't handle all this money getting goodness. Now, I gotta tell you at the, at, at the outset that the results you're about to see are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. The average person trying to make money online makes nothing. Now, that could be for various reasons. Maybe they don't try hard enough. Maybe they don't do the right stuff. Whatever it is, we're gonna focus on stuff that actually works. And what I believe I'm about to show you today is by far one of the easiest ways to make money. You don't have to be creative. You don't have to be super 
smart. You don't have to have a bunch of money to start. This is something super easy, and we're gonna put this to the test. And just to show you that I kinda know what I'm talking about here, I wanna give you a little list of the things that I went through and found the other day. Now, this list, I gotta tell you, is a little bit more difficult than what we're gonna talk about today. Because as I dug deeper into this method, it got easier and easier and easier, and I was literally blown away because I'm like, well, if AI can do all the creativity and think for me and analyze things, then I think this is gonna be a game changer. And if you're excited about this, smash that like button. So this is the list that we went through in Monday's video. In Monday's video, we went through and asked ChatGPT to find different domain names based on auctions and domains that were available online secondhand. These are domains that were already registered. Now, in this training, we are gonna talk about what is known as a hand reg. That's a hand registered domain name. That's like when you go to GoDaddy or Namecheap, you type in a domain, it's available, and you get it for $9. Now, a lot of these domains, I think, averaged somewhere between $40 and $60 each. So when we look at this, these are ones that basically this entire list cost me $1,000 for approximately uh, 48 domains. Now, when you take a look at the estimated value, again, remember GoDaddy's estimate is like made up out of thin air, but it is, it, it's okay, right? If we look at home and family insurance, do I think that this domain is worth $1,200? Well, if we go over here and look at why it says it's worth it, we're gonna take a look and see, okay, annuities and life insurance went for 1,100, home and garden, home and family. So we're seeing that these domains do go for that type of value. Now, the cool thing about this is when I did the test, every domain I got was under $60. So right now, at the beginning of this training, if you think the domain homeandfamilyinsurance.com is worth at least $60, type 60 in the box. If you think it's worth 100 or more, type 100 plus. I wanna really get to this because here we have this stuff and we see that these are in fact going for lots of money. Now again, remember, it's not typical implied or guaranteed. If I wanted to sell this, I would probably try to sell it if I wanted to sell it quick for like $300. Turning 60 into 300, that's still pretty good, right? Smash a like button if you're like, yeah, turning $60 into 300, I will do that all day, every day, and twice on Sunday, and maybe even three times on Thursday, because this is stuff that actually works. Now, when we go through, we're gonna show you something even better, because I'm gonna show you emphatic proof that you can get these for like $9. This is insane. Now, what I did in Monday's video is I went out there and I looked at GoDaddy auctions, and I found different domains that were available. Now, you can see right here, right now, emphatic proof that this actually works. We can see 099.cc is going for $40,000. However, I mean, GoDaddy only says it's worth 653. So, I mean, you do the math. It's like, okay, this is worth uh, six, 600 bucks. So if we were relying on GoDaddy here, we'd be like, okay, please take it for 600 bucks. However, at auction right now, with three days and three hours left to go, and it has bidding people, this is gonna sell for over $40,000. Now, no, that's not the example. It just happens to be almost exactly the number that was in the thumbnail. But when we take a look here and we understand this is money, right? This is money. Kelby training going for 9,100, a casino chain going for uh, 6,500, and on and on we go. So there's lots of stuff here that is making lots of money. This is emphatic proof. Type proof in the box if you're like, I get it. I get it. There's proof. This is being sold. Also, if you were to go through and go to Google, and let's do this off screen, make sure we get clean results here. And I go to Google and I do something like um, domains sold June 5, 2023. I think they update it at like two days behind, okay? So we're gonna go through and take a look at what's going on. We can see here what sales, all right? Domain name sales history. And then we could even do like, let's do uh, six, five, 25. I think that's how they do it. Here we go, right here, okay? So we're looking at the sales here on Domain Gang and on Name Bio. Name Bio, I think we could do Name Bio Day. 
and we're going to look at the daily sales. So here we see daily sales, 300, $373,000 on June 6th. Pretty cool. And the, the most highest one was less than 10% of that amount. It's actually right around maybe 7% of that amount. So we're seeing that on June 6th, a lot of domains sold for a lot of money. So if you see this here and you're like, a lot of money, let me know, right? Let me know, a lot of money, boom, there we go. Okay, hopefully our, our connection is being okay there. Um, let's see, are we, are we good? Are we still live? Okay, cool. So we see here a lot of money. If you see that, type a lot of money in the box. Now, what we're going to do today is something very, very, very important and very strategic. You're going to watch lots of videos about how to make money online, and they're all going to talk about mindset. All right, mindset means nothing if you don't have strategy. All I'm going to do here is talk to you about strategy. So if you're like, hey, I want a mindset, go to church, go somewhere else. Because here we talk about strategy that actually works. I could will my mind to go walk across the street, but until I actually walk across the street, which is a strategy, I'm not gonna get anything. So in order to get this money, here's what we need to do. We are gonna take a look at the domains that are out there, and we're gonna take a look at different prompts that we can use in AI. Now again, we talked about here, these are domains that were bought at auction and secondhand for $1,000. I'm gonna show you where to find domains for like $9 or less. You can use your favorite registrar. It doesn't matter which one you use, as long as you buy the domain, you're good to go. Okay, so we're gonna go out there and, and take a look at what's available on the free market. Now, in order to do this, I wanna show you some real world proof of things that are happening. Here is a um, report from someone who sells domains on Squad Help. Now, Squad Help is a place that you can sell a domain with like a, a logo and kind of an idea attached to it. Now, all of this stuff can be done with AI. Stay tuned, we're gonna show you how all that works. But Squad Help actually works, and you can see that people are selling all kinds of stuff on Squad Help. We're also going to be using GoDaddy Auctions. We're gonna use Afternick and several other places. But first, what we need to do is we need to find something of value. Because if you were the type of person that was like an antiquer, right? And you're like, hey, I'm one of those antiquer people. And I know that I can go to a garage sale and get some antiques for cheap and sell them for a lot. Why are you able to do that? Because up here in the brain, you got the knowledge of what is actually going to sell. I go to a garage sale and I'm like, this all looks like junk. Doesn't look like anything good. My neighbor goes to a garage sale. He's been an eBay or for God, like 40 years or something like that. I think he got his eBay account in 95. He goes to a garage sale and he knows what to buy. He knows what's going to sell. All right, for me, I, I don't know. I'm like, hey, I, I have no idea, right? But if you knew domains that were going to be worth money, do you think that would be a worthwhile business? Do you think it'd be like, yeah, if I register these and then eventually some company is going to want them, I, I think that might actually be very, very good. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna use AI to predict domains that are gonna be worth a lot of money. Now, this is super important. You're gonna wanna take notes. You're gonna wanna look at this in a simple way. First, what we need to do is we need to train the AI to think like a domainer. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, well, why don't you just tell it, you're a smart domain name generator. Give me some domains. No, no, no. We need to train it the way that we need to think, which is based on data. This is what you get on this channel. We don't talk mindset, because I don't, I don't care about your mindset. You can have whatever mindset you want. We're gonna talk about data and strategy. Data and strategy alone. Like you meet lots of people who are millionaires and their attitudes and their mindset suck, right? Which is uh, whatever, to each his own. But how did they get there? They got there with strategy. Very important. So today, I'm going to give you the strategy. You're gonna get that strategy, you can take it and you can use it. And I am going to show you how this works. So when we go through, we're gonna take a look and say, yes, domains are buying, they're buying them, they're selling them, all kinds of stuff. So what I did is I went through and I said, look, please analyze this report and tell me common themes among the top selling domain names. This is now in ChatGPT. 
I gave it the top domain names that sold. One help.com sold for three million, um, and we see lots of others. Okay, so we see lots of domains. And what I did is I said, analyze this list, tell me what you think. Now, I wanted to know what it thought because I wanted like an output, but more importantly, I wanted to teach it how to think because AI is like, it basically wakes up every day and responds to what, what you give it. Okay, so it's responding to what I give it and it's going based on what it is. It's like if you have a conversation with someone with like short term memory and after that, they don't, you have to kind of start over and, and reintroduce them to the topic. So what I'm doing is I'm reintroducing it to the topic. Then I said, based on what you learned above, which of these domains is most valuable? Okay, fair enough. Now I went through and I got this list, guess what? From AI, right? I went through and I said, find me some, some domain names for a pet insurance business. Okay, pretty cool. We're like, hey, this is pretty cool. This is giving me domains for a pet insurance business. Then I went through and I started another AI that was talking about um, telling me the best ones. So here's the best ones that it came up with from the examples it came up with from the top selling domains. Do you guys see how that works? We're stacking it on top of each other, right? I'm like, learn about the domains. Yeah, yeah, good, wonderful. Then I want you to find some domains based on what you learn. Yeah, yeah, good, wonderful. Then I want you to tell me the best. Very important. So. This is what it came up with, uh, pet protectors, guardian insurer. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this in conjunction with the different tools I have. Now again, remember, GoDaddy said this was worth 650, GoDaddy says this is worth 653, and in fact, it's worth 40 grand. Okay, so we're gonna take this with a grain of salt here. But if I was to take pet protector or one of these different domains and put it in here, we would see that it ran into a tech, it's, it's tech day. You ever have those days where it's like, none of the tech wants to work. Um, so this one says it's worth less than $100. So that might be one we might not want. However, it does have the word insure and it, it does look okay. Let's take a look at some of the other ones. Okay, very, very important here. Pet safety net, okay. So this one says it's worth $1,600. Pet Secure, and again, you're gonna see where we're gonna find the value of these in just a minute, okay? So we'll go here, Pet Secure Plans, and we're gonna see, okay, so that one, Pet Secure Plans, I think that one's actually worth a little bit more when done correctly. And then we're gonna go through and see uh, Pet Shield Pro or whatever it is, okay? And this is gonna give us an overview, a lay of the land of what's going on. There's another one that's worth um, $1,100. Now. How many of you guys, if you could buy a domain today for $9 and then sell it sometime this year for $1,000, how many of you guys would be like, show me where to sign. I would like to do that because then I just buy domains and sell them. I don't have to be techie. I just click a button and let AI do all the work. This is something that actually works. I know there's a lot of videos about side hustles and making money. This is literally allowing chat GPT and AI to find money for us. This is super, super important. Now, what we need to realize is that there's certain things that we can add to chat GPT. Another tip, this is a tip, which by the way, if you guys want um, a list of these tips, I'm gonna have them available at uh, download my notes, okay? So if you wanna get them, they will be there. Um, very important, okay? So what we're gonna do is we are gonna add to this by saying, Okay, um, how about coherent domains and things like that? Now, one little tip that I found earlier was by utilizing what sold. Because if you ever wanna know the value of an item, look at similar items that sold, right? When you go to buy a house, they're not gonna be like, well, houses in Miami are worth this, and I know you're in Ohio, so it's probably worth, no. They're gonna be like, houses in your neighborhood sold for this, therefore your house is worth this. Simple. So. Same with domaining, right? Domains similar to your domain sold for this, therefore yours is probably worth this. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to type in site colon squadhelp.com and then in quotes is no longer for sale. Now, why would I do this? 
Well, what I want to do is I want to find out domains on Squad Help that sold. Now, Squad Help is a place where you can see their domains sell for quite a bit, right? You can see all different kinds of domains here, 3,400, 3,400, 1,800, and on and on we go, right? And a lot of these are hand-registered domains, right? They're hand-registered and they're buying them for $9 or something like that. Oh, let me switch screens. There we go. Um, site colon squad help. And then we're going here and you can see that some of these are for sale at a big amount. And a lot of them are like U deals, deals elite, lead deals. So we see a lot of them based on the name deals. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to see what sold. We could see here 868 different domains that sold. We're going to go and we are going to just keep going down until this thing times out. It's going to take a while, right? And we'll just keep hitting more, more, more. And then what we're going to do is we are going to take this list, right, like this, okay? Get a bigger list. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to control A, control C, very important. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time, drum roll please, for the free tool. Here we go. We're going to go through and we are going to use the profit scoop. Let me see if I can find it here. Come on. Too many screens open. The profit scoop.com, right like this. Okay. We're going to go right here and I'm going to go to domain extractor. Okay. These are free tools. You can go here. You can get all the tools. I actually built this for myself, but hey, it gets good traffic and you guys buy my stuff when I give you free tools. So have at it. We're going to go through, we are going to tape, uh, take all that stuff that we copy and pasted, and we're going to put it in here. Then we're going to hit submit. What this is going to do is it's just going to strip out the list of all the domains. Cool. So now I can go into ChatGPT. I can go new chat, and I can say analyze, which by the way, a lot of people that are using ChatGPT for content and all this other stuff, I think they're missing the point that like you literally have a data analyzing mega machine here, which is very, very important, okay? We got to look at this. Um, and we're going to go and say analyze. Let's go back to the screen here. Analyze this list of domain names and come up with 100 variations based on info from the top selling domains in history. Okay, boom. And now we're gonna go through and we're gonna, yep, oh, I got the wrong list, okay. Let's see. Let's get, okay, we're gonna do a new one here. <laughs> Cause what I need is this list. See, trying to do this live is a little bit difficult. So we're gonna copy that box. Okay, it's okay if you spell wrong with ChatGPT, it, it, it fixes it for you. So we're gonna do analyze this list based on top selling domains and come up with 100 variations. Okay, and this should give, there we go, now we have the list there. All right, so now it's gonna analyze it and it's gonna come up with nice little Variations. How many of you guys are like, dude, this is cool. This is something I can do, right? How many of you guys think you can do this? Smash the like button, say yes I can in the comments, and yes I can in the chat box. All right, so here we go. We got 96 and then it stopped. There we go, one more. Okay, so now we're gonna go through and take this entire list and we're gonna look at what looks good. Squad savings, I mean, this is, this is actually pretty good. Okay, then we're gonna go through and we're gonna do bulk search at places like Namecheap and at places like GoDaddy. Okay, so this is gonna search for all of them at one go. Boom. Okay, apparently the tech gremlins are just out to get me today. What's going on here? You know it's a good training when the tech gremlins don't wanna work. Let's try this in a different, uh, browser here. Yeah, come on now. GoDaddy bulk domain search. 
All right, so here we go. Let's try this again here. If you guys are digging this, smash that like button, let me know, um, because this is actually, these types of trainings are very difficult to do because of all the tech stuff, and you kind of never know what you're gonna get. Um, and if you guys saw what I see here with all these screens and stuff, it's pretty hectic. Okay, so it looks like it did work in Edge, uh, uh, Microsoft Edge. So this is actually pretty good. So of the domains we put in here, of the domains that uh, ChatGPT came up with, 95 out of 100 are available. Wait a minute, what? Now, you see that they're $21, that's because GoDaddy, they give you a month special, but if we go to like Namecheap, um, you can see that they are actually, uh, come on, get out of there. You can see that they are actually um, quite a bit cheaper. Okay, so I can get it here for like $8 or something like that, $9 a year. So Lead Hub Connect, I don't like the two Bs in that one. Um, Time Trove app. Okay, so there's some in here that are just completely like stupid sounding, um, but some of them will be good, like True Deal Solution, maybe. Uh, Daily Trainer Pro. Okay, that's something I can probably use or even this one here. Um, and if we go through on the tool over here, let's see what it's valuing them at. So Daily Trainer Pro. Okay, that one doesn't have that great a value, but I would think Daily Fitness Tip, Daily Trainer Pro, those are pretty similar. I mean, I, how many of you guys think I can get more than $9 for this one, right? If you, if you think so, type $9 in the box, okay? And that's all I gotta do. I don't have to make a thousand. All I gotta do is make more than $9. Let's try this one here, okay? And again, some of these are gonna be pretty interesting, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to take a look at the data based on what's actually working so that we can actually make this stuff work in a real world way. Come on now, this thing wants to be so slow. Here we go. Work, please work. All right, there we go. So this one here, um, Vizzy Now or something like that. And then we're gonna go through and see what would work. Now, we can actually go through Mind Mind or something like that and try to find ones that are smaller like this, Freezeify. That would probably be good for some kind of business. Payback rewards, you can see that one has a value on it. Now, that is expensive, so would I buy that for $6,000? No, but I could say, get me some variables. So watch, I can go through and I can say, now please make some variables, variations that are 12 letters or less, boom. Now we're gonna go through and we'll get some variations that are um, less, so tasty thrills, stuff like that. Now again, some of these will be taken, but again, this is making it to where we don't have to be creative at all. I could literally go through and make this work. So let's see here, we'll go back to our bulk search, okay? Right like this, put all these in here, and I think this is, a, yeah, this is our, our smaller list. And then we can go through and take a look and say, okay, now I know what's, and actually surprisingly, out of that list of 20 that are smaller, quite a few were, were available as a hand reg. So, you know, we can hand register them for $9. Um, and then we can go through and, and isolate even further. Now, when we get into this, what we wanna do is start to think differently. We wanna start to think about what's going on. And you guys can see that I have lots of chats with the old chat GPT here that are saying, hey, how do we understand this domain stuff? And this is super important because now we can go through and say, what is it we want? And I could go through and use variations like this. Um, and this is the first prompt, please analyze this list, note common themes and everything like that. Another one we can do is something like um, try some two word uh, domains with the word hey in front of them. I noticed that hey was very popular, so I could say something like this, okay? Or maybe even uh, with the word money in them or whatever it is. Now, please use ones that make sense grammarly with, uh, and have actual words, okay? And it's gonna go through, hey, True Deals, hey, Squad Finder, hey, Equity, 
hey, that's interesting. Hey, equity. Um, hey, mingle. Like that would be great for a dating site. Hey, paywise. Hey, coffee joy. Um, and on, 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 hey, promptly. That would be pretty cool for like AI or something like that. And when we start to understand that there are different things that we can utilize that will help us make money. Maybe we can do instead of, hey, use the word profit. Okay. Profit true deals. Okay. So that literally just, uh, no, it's a little bit different. So like profitboosted.com. Uh, profit Care Hub, Profit Equity. Interesting. Okay, that's probably not taken, but or it's probably taken, but you know, there you go. That's two thousand dollars. So we can do now. I can say, well, that one is is two thousand bucks. Make twenty variations of this. Profit Equity. Okay. So now we have some that are a little bit different. Okay, and we could do like this in our bulk search tool. Okay, how many of you guys are digging this? Smash that like button and let me know because I think this is super important. And we're going to talk about where to sell these and what to do with them in just a minute. So now we have Profit Equity Now, Profit Equity Advisor. And now we're seeing that this is starting to give us some pretty good stuff, right? Apparently, there we go. Let's reload. Let's see. So we'll go like this. And this is saying Profit Equity Advisor. I think that's probably a bad estimate. I think we can do better, especially if we're doing squad help. Because if we look at squad help and we look at like what is available or what's sold right over here, date, datagile.com. So this one actually sold. And we know that squad help is usually like 2000 bucks or more. So let's see what we have here. So this is saying 1773. So now we can do, okay, now make some short versions with the word data, okay? And what we're doing is we're starting to let this think for us. And notice how, I mean, we're 30 minutes in this call and there's a lot of stuff that we've already uncovered where before this would take me all day to do, right? And now we have like, uh, data quitty. So there's quite a few here that are interesting. Data probe. And again, we're just going to go through, put them in here, see what's available. And a lot of these will be valuable domains if you look at it properly. And if you guys are new here, smash the like button, subscribe, because we're going to show you the thousand dollar test where I'm actually going through utilizing those, these domains. There was a bunch of them uh, that I bought here, tons of them. And um, we're going to go through and actually sell them. So we can see here, dataprofit.net. That's interesting. I'll bet that's got somewhat of a good value. Again, remember, all I need to do is be above the $9 I pay for it. Or I think a .net might be $11. Okay, so how many of you guys think dataprofit.net is probably worth more than 9 bucks? And hopefully GoDaddy will help us out here with the old appraisal tool. Come on, GoDaddy, let's try it over here. I'll try a different browser. Maybe it doesn't like Chrome today. GoDaddy appraisal, right like this, okay? Uh, WJW7 says a lot of steps. Well, do you wanna make money or do you, I mean, how many of you guys would actually do that? I just did this in a half hour and I found some in these lists that I think are worth money. So like, I don't know, I mean, do you, how many of you guys want to do this? You're like, nah, I'd rather watch the guys who, who uh, just tell me I'm going to get rich doing nothing. Uh, let's try it. So dataprofit.com went for 2300 That's a good sign. That's a really good sign. Um, and .net, I could probably do uh, pretty well, right? So I could go through and be like, hey, I literally found domains in this call that I think would be worth money. And we can take a look at some others. Now make 200 variations. Keep them under 15 letters. Okay. Right. And how many of you guys would do this? Right. How many of you guys are like, yes, I would do this. I, I literally spend 30 minutes a day watching videos on how to make money online. I might as well take that same 30 minutes and make money online. Right. And we take a look and we're like, okay, 
Um, here's some interesting one. Equidata, profit quitty. Some of these are actually pretty good. Like there's some that are good. There's some that are complete junk. But I think a lot of these are, are actually pretty good. Okay, and like John says, would you put some content on a site and design a logo, create a content plan? That would increase the value. Yes, when we're talking about using squad help, that would absolutely work, right? Equipnet.com. Let's see what else we got. So we'll take these here. And some of these like prof equity, that's one like that would probably work really well uh, with a squad help kind of deal. So let's see what's available here. But dataprofit.net. I mean, I don't know. How many of you guys would be like, yeah, I'll probably risk nine bucks on that. Like, you might lose nine dollars. I doubt it, though. Like, I mean, again, results not typical, implied or guaranteed. Yes, you do risk your nine dollars on that. But I think like, okay, profitdata.io. I mean, these are pretty good. And, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking from 23 years experience. Just last week, um, I got an offer on a domain that I got for $40. It's $40 plus, I think it was $20 plus 19. It's right around $40 total. Um, and I just got an offer on it for $4,100. And this happens all the time. I've bought domains for $9 that have sold for uh, tens of thousands of dollars. I've bought a bunch of them that have sold for hundreds of dollars. A lot of them have sold in like the one to 4,000 range. And again, I'm not actively selling them. These are people coming to me just because I buy them, right? Um, and that's something very, very important. And I sell domains every single day. So when we look at this, we can see what is for sale. So these are ones that are for sale. So what we're seeing here is ChatGPT came up with 50 that are available. Out of those 50, one, two, three, four, five, are on sale for anywhere from two to $27,000. And so now we're seeing, wait a minute, this could be promising. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this and we're gonna play the odds. Now, when we're doing domaining, I do domaining way different from a lot of people. What I focus on is, oh, let me see, I think I gotta fix my pen here. I focus on, what is this called? Wyacom, there we go. Um, I'm gonna focus on something very, very important. And if you don't focus on this, you're not gonna get good results. So let's see, screen area, monitor two, monitor one, monitor, okay, I think we're monitor three, four. There we go, fourth time's a charm. Okay, so here we go. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to focus on cash flow. Okay, so here's the deal. If I go out there and I buy 100 domains that I think are worth money, okay, this is going to cost me roughly 900 to maybe $1,100. Okay, and if you don't have this kind of money, don't worry about it. Um, we're going to go through and make it work. Uh, do I have a course on this? We do have a course on it. It's it's not live right now. We might run it again. Um, but what I would urge you to do is check out Blog Profit Network because I'm going to teach AI domain stuff on Tuesday in Blog Profit Network. We'll talk to you about that later because I want to I want to give you the goods so you understand how it works. And I've actually taught a lot of people how to do domaining uh, for a profit. And now doing this, like the people that I've taught domaining that have gone on to make a lot of money, they kind of had the creativity and the mindset issue that worked. And I think with ChatGPT, this makes it very simple. So if we go through, my question has to be, if I was to buy 100 domains, what are the odds that one of them is gonna be worth $1,000? Okay, I, I, think, I think pretty good, right? How many of you guys are like, yeah, I think that's good odds. Like, okay, um, type 1,000 in the box if you think that that's pretty good. And that's usually what I find my odds are that like usually out of 100 random domains, there's one that's worth $1,000. Now, I've been doing this a long time, so my odds are quite a bit better. But when I do just regular hand reg ones, yeah, you know, some of them are gonna be worth a lot, some of them are not. But if we can rig the game in our favor and do this in a cool way and look at, okay, what are we buying for maybe squad help, right? We looked at squad help and the, the top seller on squad help 
I think, uh, where is he? Uh, made $439,000. I mean, I don't know. That's, that's a good amount, I think, right? There you go. Um, but when we look at it, it's like, okay, what, what can I do to make this work? And how can I focus on cash flow and protecting my investment? Okay, this is super important because even with me, I, I got money, but I don't want to just go blow it on a bunch of domains that I think are cute. No, I want to focus on data. And that's where ChatGPT and AI is going to help us because it's actually going to go out there and study what worked. And then all I need to do is come up with, okay, what's available and what looks good, right? So I found, hey, a lot of domains. So I went through, I said, analyze the domains. And this was the analysis of one day, right? So I went to NameBio, okay? Um, NameBio Daily Sales. Where'd NameBio go? Here we go. NameBio Daily Sales. I looked at the daily sales from, I think you can do whatever day you want. So let's do domain sales, date range. There we go. June 6th. So if I do just June 6th, domain sales, okay? And then I do, let's do 100 results. I'm going to go through. I'm going to take these domains and I'm going to put these in. We can actually just take the domains if you want, or you can take all the data. And I'm going to go to chat GPT like this, okay? I put them in here and said, analyze these and tell me what they had in common. It went through and it said, okay, here's this. And it gave generic stuff. So I said, please do it again, just on the domains. It did it. And then I said, based on what you learn, come up with 50 variations for this. All right, then I go through and I'm like, okay, what are some good variations for uh, top hotels? And again, all I need to do is go back and forth with a bulk registrar. I find GoDaddy's to be quickest. You could use that and then register them wherever you want. And you can see, yes, they did do a good job. You can see what is on sale here. And I mean, imagine if like you got a domain that was worth like 30K. Now I'll tell you, I've been doing this 23 years. The best domain sale I got was a $15 domain. It was a .net. I did not intend on selling it. I thought I was going to use it and I sold it for $25,000. Now I've sold lots of them for 10 and five and a thousand and hundred here and thousand here. Um, but when we look at this, it's like, okay, what about like maybe top surf hotels or whatever? And some of these, when we look at cash flow, we're going to play the odds and say, well, maybe I'll find a bunch which I could sell for $30. All right, well, if I bought $130 domains for $1,000, and sold them for an average of 30 or 20 each, that's 2x, 3x my money. So we gotta start to look at this in a different way. Now again, remember, this is risky. I could lose my $1,000. But based on what I've seen, I think we're using ChatGPT and AI to find stuff that's actually gonna work well. And when we go through, I could say, well, um, come up, so discover Brisbane, 2,500, come up with 100 domains with cities and countries with the word discover in front of them like this. And we'll put discover Brisbane in there. Okay, we know for a fact that went for 2,500. Okay, so now it's gonna go through and it's gonna give us all of these. Now, chances are some of these will be available. Okay, some might not, but you know, we're gonna, that, that's what we do. We're gonna use ChatGPT to find the info and make it work. Discover Athens, that would be a cool one. And travel companies will buy these in the droves. That's who's paying for them, right? Uh, so I can go here, put these in our bolt tool. And how many of you guys are like, this is not difficult. This is something I can do. It, it, I might have to go over to Edge because, or is it not working in Edge now too? I don't know. Okay, search. What is going on? Come on. We might have to go to Firefox. Apparently, uh, the old thing don't want to work here. 
It's funny, when I was doing this the other day, we literally got locked out of GoDaddy because I was doing so much uh, work on this stuff. So let's do this here. And we'll try the bulk on Firefox over here. Boom. Search. So out of 100, 31 are available. You can see they do sell for a lot. Discover Amman, Beirut. Okay, so a couple, there's a couple available as hand reg. Most are not. Let's see if we could do some others, right? Then we could say, um, come up with lesser, less popular places, 100 domains with discover in front of them. And you can also do like visit, right? Like I could go through and use ChatGPT or just like a find replace, but I'm lazy, so I'll use ChatGPT. Replace, discover with visit. Boom. And how many of you guys are like, dude, this is cool. This is something I can do, right? And it's gonna take some work, like making money does take some work, but we are literally letting AI find us money. Like this is the closest thing you're gonna find to actually finding money, right? So we're gonna go through, hopefully this doesn't time out on us, because I don't think I have another browser on here. So, uh, so on this one, visit amps, that, that might work. Visit Amsterdam. Now it has an S in front of it. Visit Amsterdam. I wonder if we can do it without. But that is looking pretty good. Let's see how we did with the lesser known cities. Um, let's try now just places in the USA. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. All right, like this. And we can go to our bulk. Search. And again, remember the key is to focus on cash flow. Right? Like a lot of people are going to be like, oh, hey, I want to sell this for a million dollars. Okay, probably won't sell. But what if I could turn my $10 into 200 or 1000 Now I got $1,000 to buy other domains. And if you can kind of roll this out, it's going to work really, really, really well. Uh, Nolik says, even if the idea works, aren't you afraid that telling everyone about it and now there will be a lot of competition? I've been telling people about domains. I'm still the big player in the pond. Hardly anyone ever does anything with what I teach them. That's the sad fact, but hey, you know what? It's pretty cool. Um, and again, like a lot of people aren't gonna do this. A lot of people are just gonna watch this and go watch other videos about side hustles and never do anything with any of them. Um, but when you understand, hey, this is something that can actually work, uh, there was a student I had that I taught and I think he does this pretty, uh, he still works his job, but I think it's like a full-time income or something like that, um, and it's very simple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at these and say, okay, how can we get ChatGPT to come up with things that are gonna work, right? And then we can say, come up with some two-word domains related to the stock market or something like that, okay? Yep, we're gonna get to the sale part in just a minute. Okay, so now we have 20 different stock market ones. These are probably, I'm guessing they're probably gonna be taken, but let's see. Okay, bearish fund, that's not bad. I can probably do something with it. Let's try some others. Now, 100 variations with lesser known stock terms, okay? So now we have this here. Value core, swing wood. So these are actually, some of these are pretty good. And we'll see what's available. And if you do this long enough, like we're only 50 minutes into this call, and I have seen about 
maybe six to ten that I I would think were worth buying and not only worth buying but ones that I think um, can be very profitable and again the idea is play the odds understand what's going on add value so now on this list we got 50 so bearish bet that was a lot like the bearish one um, I had earlier that was nine dollars right how many of you guys are like dude this makes sense smash the like button okay um, so we have volatility cyclical play breakout wave that's interesting that's probably one i'd do for like squad help um contrarian pick Ooh, that's that's kind of cool i like that uh sector hunt sector vortex penny chaser bullish beacon uh takeover expert there's quite a few here that are looking pretty good bearish bet bearish trade i mean there you go, right? And you start to look at this, so bearish trade, GoDaddy appraisal. Okay, how many of you guys think you can do this? You're like, yeah, I could do this. This would be pretty good. And again, don't go hog wild, just focus on what's actually out there. So we see, don't pay attention to this so much, because as we can see, it could be way low, it could be way high. But what I do see is the word trade is selling for a lot. Interesting. Um, someone said they just joined. What's the prompt? We're going to have all the prompts available. Um, let me see where the link is. Somewhere over here. I got a lot of stuff open. It's going to be available here. Okay. So you can get all the prompts there. So we can go through now and say, okay, um, now find 100 with the word trade in them. Okay, and you can see that this can be super, super simple and also kind of slow. But how many of you guys are like, yeah, this, okay, this is pretty simple. I mean, I'm literally just copying, pasting, kind of asking it what's going on, looking at the data, having it look at the data and finding out what's available that looks good. Like this list here, these are all worth money. It just depends on what's available. And I'm going to do this here, and I'm not even going to buy these. So some lucky people might be able to buy the ones I'm showing here. And all I ask is if you sell it for a lot, just come tell me so I can brag about you. Right? So we're going to look at this here. Out of 100, we have one or two, one available cheap, trade Excel. Okay, so two of your 41 are available. Let's try maybe a little bit longer. How about up to 15 letters? Okay, maybe a little bit longer. Do I check the data first in Ahrefs before I buy? In this strategy, we are quite simply just flipping names. So no, I mean, you can, that's an extra plus, but you don't really need to. Okay, so now we have a list with 15 letters. So I'm guessing our, um, our, amount that are available is probably going to be better on this list. So out of 99, we got 43. Okay, some of them are expensive. Trade flexible, not bad. Trade enhancer, trade creator. Okay, that one's expensive. Specialized trade optimizers. That's kind of cool. Um, trade complex, trade prospects, trade generator pioneering. So some of these are looking like, hey, that's pretty cool. Trade flexibility. Cool. So that's looking not bad. Let's try. How about with the word financial? Right? How many of you guys are digging this? Let me know. We only got 109 likes. I think, I don't know. I think this is worth a little bit more than 109 likes, but you tell me, you be the judge, right? Because this is something where I can literally go out there and figure out what is available, look them up. And, and with that sample list, this is the estimated values of the sample list that I got. Now I'm guessing like that freshrefinance.com. How many of you guys are like, are you kidding me? That's a pretty darn good one. Coin finance trade, auto finance zone, clean credit yourself, smart profit income. How many of you guys are like, dude, this list, these are easily worth more than $50 each. If I do squad help or something else, it could be worth even more. How many of you guys are like, 
this makes sense. And you guys watched on um, Monday's video where I bought these live. Now this is a little bit different because here we're looking at the $9 guys because here's the deal. If I buy them for 50, you can get $9 ones five to one, right? So you invest five, uh, $50, you have five domains, five chances to make more where I'm only at one. So you can kind of take a look at this and say, yeah, this, this can work. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about aggressive ways to sell these because you can actually reach out to companies and, and start looking at uh, selling these, which is super important. So let's see what we have here. We'll go back over here and see what we got, see what's available. Okay, a lot of these, see how a lot of these have value? That tells us, like you could look at this and be like, oh man, these are taken, they're too much money. Or I could look at it and say, ChatGPT came up with domains that are worth money. Let me say that again. ChatGPT came up with domains that are worth money. So we're looking here of the 67 domains, most of them are actually worth money because they're on sale for money. So we're gonna look at this and say, okay, what if we do financial rocks, financial peak, let's see, financial, do, 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 stoke, pros, touch, financial touch could be good, financial rocks. I, say, I don't know what financial rocks are, but let's see what it says here. So that's saying it's worth 1,500 financial rebel events, stories, financial domain sell. So if I could do this long enough and find good ones, would financial rocks work? Maybe. I, I think it'd be good for like a company that is to help people that are struggling financially. Um, and, and that's something that we can go through and say, hey, okay, so now let's do, you know, let's, let's see what sells. So I could go to name bio. I can do, let's do this year, 2023. So what do we see for 2023 that is selling, okay? I think I forgot to show the screen, so we'll show it now. Um, holdings, interesting. Okay, so Holdings has quite a bit. Let's do this, let's see um, Holdings. Let's see if there's a lot that sell for the word Holdings. There are. Okay, and some of these are 100 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever. And you know what? They're all over $9, which is good. We could do by price. Because I think, yeah, these are by date. So if we do by price, how close is the GoDaddy evaluation to prices domains actually sell for? Um, so when you're using GoDaddy appraisal, the domains are going to be grossly undervalued for domains that are good. For domains that are complete garbage, it's overvaluing them. So we have to do the work here. That's why we're using ChatGPT. So like here, I can do now come up with 100 domains with the word holdings, holdings, less than 15 letters for a financial investment company, okay? So now we're gonna go like this, okay? Um, where do we sell the domains? I'll get into that in just a minute. I wanna make sure that you guys get this part because this part's super important. And I will tell you, if you have a good domain, they will find you. Most of the time, if I have a good domain, they reach out to me. Like someone from GoDaddy will come to me and be like, I have a buyer for your domain. What do you wanna sell it for? And you know, I'm not going to jump at the first price. Like I think the one last week, they started really low. I said 7,000, we settled on 4,000. And that was a domain I bought for $40. So you guys see this stuff works. Now, um, it is, it can be risky because you're investing your money, um, but you have to understand, okay, let's see. So a lot of these are .net. There's some dot, dot .coms. And basically if there's anything here, Prime C Holdings, Pro C Holdings, I don't know why I put the C, Invest Holdings, Funds Holdings, that could work. Uh, let's see, 
secure holdings, global invest holdings. So quickholdings.net, maybe. Um, global, let's see what else we got. Secure, fine holdings, top holdings. So there's some good ones in here that are looking pretty good. Um, nothing super standout-ish. Let's see. Now, try only.com and with no random letters. Okay, so we'll do like this. All right, so now we're getting somewhere. I'm guessing a lot of these are probably taken, but again, it doesn't matter. Like, all I'm doing is playing the odds. Copy and paste, copy and paste, find something good, buy it, resell it. So we look here. And we can say like this. And I'm actually coming out with a tool that's going to bulk look them up for you. So uh, the profit scoop will have that. Just follow my stuff if you want the free tools. Um, we're going to have them. Actually, wow, there's quite a few here that I thought this list was not going to have a lot available. But it actually did. Value holdings. Um, is this the same list? Let's see. Okay, I don't know if that was, I think it might have been the same list as last time. Let's do this again. How many of you guys are digging this? Smash the like button. Uh, right now I'm using ChatGPT3 because I don't want to time it out. Okay, so here we have Invests Holdings, Smarts Holdings, Global, Quick. So there's a couple in here. It didn't really do the job of getting rid of the extra characters. Let's see what else we got. Let's try, see what else there is here on the top domains this year. Because that's like, okay, if I can find some this year. So help.com went for three million. Okay, so maybe, let's see, let's say try some, try 100 domains with the word help dot at the end, such as Best, uh, let's do mental, uh, let's just do help.com, like that. We'll do like that. It should do the trick. And again, remember, it's actually, um, it's actually going through and it's basing this on what it learned already. So this is coming up with quite a few, actually 100 to be exact, right? And so all I got to do, and you will find some good ones. It is going to find some that will sell. Now, I will tell you, focus on cash flow. Do not focus on trying to get cute and guess the best domain. That's not going to work. We want to focus on cash flow. Can you do the cute method? Yeah, you will get some once in a while. But what we want to do is focus on this like a business. Because what happens if a business runs out of cash flow? It's out of business. So what we want to do is take a look here, say, OK, we got 98. How many are hand reg? Home makeover help, teamwork help, career guidance help. So in this list, in my opinion, again, I'm not an investment counselor. All I do is buy and sell domains. This is what I've done for a long time. Um, but what I'm seeing is there are some here I think I could probably sell. And again, my goal is what if I can sell them for $9? Career advice help. That one, I think I can probably sell, right? Career advice help. This is saying, okay, dating advice help went for 50, EDU, business debt help, career advice help. Let's try career advice. Isolate it to career. Career advice went for 15K, .net, careers advice, career solutions. I think I have a winner there. I think that could definitely work. Let's see what else we have. Um, investment advice help, content writing help. That's pretty good. That, that'd be a good one for AI, right? Um, fitness and nutrition help. Let's try shortening them. Try less than 12 letters. OK? OK, so now we're getting. 
can you make 200? Do, 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 do. And we wait and wait. Sing a little song while we wait. If you like the singing, smash the like button. All right, here we go. So now we got 200 of them. Okay, that gave us a lot of dot helps. Uh, dot com only, not help, please. Okay. There we go. Okay, now that missed the point, but it did give us some interesting ones. So like these look like good ones that would be good for squad help, where you're actually making like a business. Let's see how many of these are available. Right, how many of you guys think um, this is fun? I don't know, maybe I'm a weirdo, but I think this is actually pretty fun. Um, and we can go through and be like, okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, so it did do a good job. Some of these are worth money. Orbixio, Enzeriza, that one. I mean, I don't know. I'd take a little risk on those. 30 bucks for all of them if I get them at Namecheap. Not bad. All right, and then we could see, okay, are, are, is there any value? It's going to be weird at valuing these ones. But hey, look at, there's some weird ones there that, that sold. Um, and we can even use NameBio or Estabot to figure out what they're worth. But let's go here and let's try this list. Okay. And again, if you guys think you can do this, smash the like button. This is something that's super simple. You don't need to buy a course. You just go out there and, and you do it. Um, again, be careful because you would be investing. But if you wanted a way to do this with no risk, you can actually go on Fiverr and find domains for people. Like I think if you go, let me see if I can find Fiverr here. And I've actually tested this out uh, buying them. Let's do domain name. Domain name. Right, there's people on Fiverr that are selling uh, domain names. Right, creative business domain. I will brand or business name with domain, 225. Brainstorm business names, $40. Hander, some domain thing. Craft of domain, $10. Catchy business name, $75. I mean, this is pretty cool. Like, this is something that you can do, and it's not that hard to do. Right, you just put it up there. And some of these guys, like this one here, that's some WordPress. Here's a domain name one. He's got 271 sales, 258, 41. So, I mean, people are definitely buying this stuff, which is looking pretty cool. How many of you guys are like, yeah, this, this makes sense. This is something that I can see actually working, right? This is something that, you know, is not that hard to do. Um, let's try another one. Let's see what other stuff there is. Giveaway. Um, do, 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 do. Bonus, you could do bonus or home. Let's try home. How about 12 letters or less with the word home? Please only.com and all words must make sense. 200 domains, please. Okay, so it's going to go through like this. Um, okay, 200, please. All right, like this. Come on. I feel like at the bowling alley when, you, when you're when you about to miss and you have to like stop to make it go. That's what we're doing here, right? Um, and we're seeing here how this works. There we go. All right, so it gave us 110. Well, we'll, we'll just go with it. So here we have these. Again, some of them will be taken, some of them won't, but we need to go through and say, okay, let's make this work, because there's going to be some zingers in there. Um, Nest Allure, Dreamy Home, Home Dusk, Home, home Minity. So there's a couple in here that are looking good. Um, let's see what else here. Let's try, how about, how about domains with the word? AI in them, dot com only, please, and words that make sense, up to 15 letters, okay? Pretty cool. 
How many prompts can you do in GPT-4? I think 25 an hour. OK, so here we have lots of AI ones. Can you do 200? So we'll go here. And again, if this comes out, like, you might come across a zinger that's like, holy cow, that thing's going to sell for a lot. Um, and you kind of have to know what you're looking for, which I have some other domain videos that'll talk about how to do this. And if you know how to do that, which we're showing you here, so you should know how to do it, it's pretty simple. So we're going to go like this. So here's the AI domains. Synthin AI, Discover AI AI, Path AI AI, Open Mind A Optimind AI. That's kind of cool. It's 350 bucks, but it's OK. Um, that one does not say AI in it, but you know, to each his own. I don't know what AI is thinking on that, ChatGPT. You might uh, be reading the wrong website there. Perform AI, uh, Logic IAI, Mind AI. So there's a couple in here that could be good. Let's try, try 200, but without the extra letters in the words. OK. OK, so that, N-O-A-I. Some of these are actually OK, AIPow.com. Let's see here. Yeah, some of these are interesting. Like, this is looking like a good list for squad help or like an actual business or something like that. And again, if we focus on cash flow, that's where the key is. That's where the rubber meets the road. Uh, because then we're going to go through and say, oh, this is something that I can sell. And of course, like I want to know that I can lowball this if I had to. AI pow, aware, NAI. So, and some of these you can actually go through and say, well, maybe, just maybe, I can tweak these a little bit and come up with aware AI. Come on. So we're seeing that's got a good value. And this will really show uh, the rubber meeting the road because AI stuff is crazy. Come up with 200 domains like this. One word plus AI. And I mean, imagine, I've been on this, this training for an hour and 15 minutes. How many of you guys would spend an hour and 15 minutes if you could buy a domain that was worth $1,000 or $500 or um, 20 bucks, right? How many of you guys would do that? And again, results not typical implied or guaranteed, but I think you're understanding, hey, this is something that if done right, like look at this, some, some of these are going for a ton. And so we're starting to look at it and say, OK, um, negative VAI, negative VII. It keeps adding extra letters. Um, let's see. Maybe we could do like remove the extra letters or something. Please remove the extra letters from this list. Got to say please. Got to make the, the robots uh, happy, right? OK, so that removed. It looks like it removed some of them. I don't know why it's, is that because aware AI? No. OK. So you might need to go in each one and remove that, which you could do simply by just going to like a find replace. Uh, let's do please change all instances of AI AI to just AI. John says total legit biz. I, I agree. I think this is a incredibly legit business. 
if you look at it the right way. Again, look at it like a business, focus on cash flow, focus on what I can actually use, and then focus on where you're gonna sell them. Because where you sell them is gonna be important, and we're gonna get into that in just a minute. Okay, so we got 107, and then it stopped there. Okay, so there we go. And I got it to remove them, which is good. Now I'm guessing that a lot of these will be taken, which is fine. We're gonna play the odds and say, well, maybe there's the diamond in the rough that we can find using AI. And actually, I'm actually pretty surprised that a lot of these are not taken. And if we look at them, we will be able to find them. Again, it has to do with looking at them and seeing what we can do. Did it actually take the VAI? Okay, maybe I, now it's got the VAI here. Is that the one VAI? Let's see. Yeah, there's a couple there. And then we can look at other stuff that's selling here. Home, AI generator. See that, like that AI generator went for $81,000 which is crazy. And I could be like, okay, come up with 100 variations of this domain using the word AI plus one other word that makes sense. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is giving us a lot here. And again, we're just gonna play the odds. I'm gonna be like, okay. Uh, virtual says, I wasn't already doing this all day long. The trick will be to sell them. Well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna sell them. So we're gonna use uh, GoDaddy Auctions, and we'll get into this in just a minute. Uh, GoDaddy Auctions, we're gonna use Squad Help. We're gonna use After Nick, and we're gonna price them right, okay? What we want to do is look at it like a business and looking at it like a business, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, hey, this one's worth a lot. Okay, AI curator, $2,500, or $2, it still hasn't sold yet. It's probably been up there a long time. So is he priced too high or is he in the wrong place? That might be a good one for squad help. You could probably get a lot more over there. Um, when you look at AI, let's see, AI Coder Studio, not bad. AI Ingenious, AI Mastermind, AI Visioneer. That's, is that spelled right? That's pretty decent. AI Visioneer. That's spelled correctly. So that there is a hand reg, AI Visioneer. Says it's worth a thousand. I mean, I don't know. I think that domain alone was probably worth the last hour and 20 minutes I spent. How many of you guys type 90 minutes or what is an hour? It's almost 90 minutes. So type in 90 minutes if you think it's worth it. Let me know because it's like, okay, if I can find these AI Visioneer or something like that, AI Visionary Pro, AI Curator Pro, um, AI Connect, that one went for a lot um, or is going for a lot, AI Constructor, AI Advisor, and we could just do this all day long. AI Crafter Pro. Um, let's try 100 more, please. Try using words related to content and AI. Okay, so now we got content ones. Do, 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 and it does its work while we sing. AI Marketer Pro, not bad. It's starting to get a little tired, you can tell. Maybe, maybe ChatGPT, you need my coffee. I don't know, maybe. We got our T-Rex coffee cup there. All right, so we can take this one and go back to the drawing board here. All right, here. Uh, Proud says, I only put real, I only, I put only use real words. Yes, that can help. Um, sometimes adding an extra con uh, thing would help though. So AI Content Genius Pro, AI Video Master, I could sell that. 
AI content, nah. Um, AI, extru, AI content lab pro, AI media hub, AI social media pro, okay. AI video editor. So, I mean, a lot of these are actually available. Now these are, they're not like super amazing. AI content pro hub, AI text editor pro. Okay, that's probably sellable. Am I gonna get $10,000 for it? No, but if I buy it for nine and I can sell it for anything above nine, I'm in business. I mean, like, I don't know, Walmart and Amazon get completely rich selling things for a little bit more than they buy them for. AI Copywriter Studio, right? That would be a good one. AI Copywriter Studio. Okay, let's see if there's some others. Um, let's see, AI Media Hub. AI Video Master. I did like that one. Okay, AI Video Master. Okay, AI Cloud System. So some of these are going for a little bit there. Let's see what else we got. Got so many tabs open. Um, AI Media, Video Creator. Dictionary words works for me. Yeah, you can do that. Tell him say something to say a chat bot similar to chat GPT. You could use that. Yeah. Um, let's see. AI content labs. Let's try shorter ones. Try shorter versions with dictionary words only. All right, you guys digging this? Smash the like button there. I think it's mad at me. It's like, Marcus, I, I'm done finding your money, okay? Let's say, please, please, 200. And we'll wait. And we wait. All right. So that's kind of the idea of what we're doing. And again, you can see, so when we go to sell them, we're going to take a look at different places to sell them. Um, so here's, here's a recap. Number one, we need to recognize the value of our domain. We need to understand and use ChatGPT to kind of help us understand what sells and why. Next, we need to set realistic goals and actually go out there and, and look at what it is these are going to sell for. Okay? Then we're going to go through, look at market trends, keyword popularity, and demand. You can use keywords for this as well. Then we're going to use appraisal tools like GoDaddy um, Appraisal, Estebot, Valuate, and others. Now, we need to look at these as guidelines, not as full on, this is not gospel truth here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell these on Afternic, GoDaddy Auctions, Sidu, Flipper, or Squad Help. Now, if you're using Squad Help, you can actually use AI to make a little brandable business type thing. Now, if you wanna go a step further, you can actually build the site, sell it as a website. Again, when you look at it, if we're using AI to set this up, I could spend two hours, get a domain, build a website, make a logo, set it up, and then offer it for sale as a whole package. Very simple. And you gotta ask yourself, if I do that in two hours, would it be worth it to sell for $100, or $300, or $500, or whatever it is based on the value of the domain? And when you start to understand this, it's very, very important, and this is a business that anyone can do. And if we go through and we start to look at this in a objective way, like a business, that's where the key is gonna be, right? And we start to understand, okay, here's some more AI ones. The shorter ones are gonna be key. Like if I can do this long enough and find a short one that someone didn't catch, I could potentially have a really, really big payday, right? How many of you guys get that? Type big payday in the box. Because if I can do this, and be like, okay, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna do this all day. If I could do this all day and find something that looks really good and then go and actively sell it, boom, I could be off to the races. Now this one, a little bit different here, um, nothing available. Okay, so let's try uh, more, okay, 200 more. And I can just keep doing this, literally takes a couple of seconds. 
That is if the AI is nice to us, right? Smash the like button if you see that this could be a big payday. And that's Joseph. Joseph is in the chat. Um, he actually joined our domain class, I think, in 2021. And he's bought and sold lots of valuable domain names. He's actually made a good bit with them. OK, and what do you think about this strategy here, uh, Joe, based on what you've learned and what you've done uh, with your domain stuff? Because I know you've had a couple of big paydays. And let's see here. OK, those are taken. Let's try, let's try getting out of the AI world. And maybe, maybe we could do some with blockchain or, let's see, cloud tech, maybe tech. How about some with the word tech? Yeah, seems like yesterday. You're loving it. Okay, cool. What was your most recent big sale? Okay, so here we have these. You already bought a few from this web. I say I can't multitask, otherwise I would have bought them. So Joe will let us know how he does with those ones he bought. And um, now what are you seeing, Joe, based on what you've learned here? Like, are you seeing something that's of value as a domain buyer? Or do you think, uh, you know, Mark, this is just another AI fancy pants thing? Or are you seeing some that are like, oh, yeah, I can make money with those. Those are looking pretty good. Now here, we ha actually have a lot. Tech AI dev, um, a AI pioneers, tech AI develop, tech AI mine. So there's quite a few here. Some are like complete garbage. Some are good. Tech AI Studio, AI Makers Tech. So some of these are really good. Some of them are like complete junk. Um, let's try another word here. Uh, Joe says it's a great strategy, so we'll, we'll take his word for it there. Um, and he is a, a domain buyer. It's funny, I, I remember I was on a, um, on a call with this guy about domains. And, you know, I just kind of do my thing here in my office. I'm not, um, how about with the word refinance? I'm not, like, big in these industries um, as far as, like, talking to other people. I just kind of keep to myself. And so I was on this call. These people were interviewing me about domains. And they're like, did you know that like eight figure domain buyers and sellers watch your content? They actually watch you. And I was like, really? I just, I'm just here in my house. I didn't know anything about it. Um, and they actually watch my content because apparently I, I, I know what I'm doing. And apparently I remember last, I think it was 2021, I got a call from GoDaddy and the phone rang. Yeah, exactly, Joe. Don't go crazy spending too much money. Be very strategic. I would say buy 20, 25, sell one before you buy any more, unless you see like, you know, something like a zinger. Um, but be very careful. And if you're, if you're iffy, hand wrench, buy the ones that are $9, right? So if I can go refi. But GoDaddy called me and they're like, eh, hey, how you doing? I'm like, good. And he's like, yeah, I just want to check on you. I'm like, okay, this is weird. And he's like, hey, did you know you're one of our biggest domain buyers? I'm like, me? Really? Like, like you're not talking to the guy behind me? Me? I'm one of your best. Apparently, um, I am. So, like, refinance radar. That, what do you think of that one, Joe? Or refinance matrix. Uh, let's see what else. Refinance mastermind. Refinance speed assistant. Refinance mind. I mean, there's some here that I would think are like refinance scope or radar. Radar, I could sell. That one, I could probably sell. I mean, not probably, I could sell it. But disclaimer, just in case I can, right? Uh, refinance zone, uh, 1800 bucks, and on and on we go, which is pretty cool. Joe says, so AI prompts are two popular trends that are big right now. Yeah, absolutely. So prompts, we can do how about 100 domains with marketing terms and the word prompt like copy 
writingprompt.com. Please, dot com only. I'm going to put 200 just because I like saving time, right? So we're going to go here and we'll do this here. Um, you would flip these ASAP, the AI ones you would. Okay, so now these are a little long. Promo strategy prompt. Okay, so some of these are a little long, but some of them are okay. Let's see what's available. And again, how many of you guys think you can do this? I want you to let me know in the comments below if you think this is another junk side hustle business video that you cannot use. Conversion prompt? Did we just find a zinger, Joe? Conversion prompt. I am going to resist the urge to buy that one because I, I really want to. I mean, digital marketing prompt, camp, I mean, strategy, yeah. Joe, thanks, bro. This is, <laughs> this is a good one. How many of you guys are looking at this and you're like, uh, wait a minute, did we just hit the jackpot? I, I think this could be conversion prompt, market research prompt, campaign prompt. Promo, and all I ask is if you buy these, tell me how much you sell them for so that I can brag about you. Content marketing, brand strategy. I mean, I don't know. I think, I think you need to give Joe a thumbs up because he's the one who told me to use prompt and this is looking pretty good. Some of these are junk. Search engine prompt, decent. Uh, lead conversion creative ideas, brand identity prompt. Let's try um, the word brand can work. Or let's try shorter versions, please, 15 letters or less. Okay. And again, like Joe said, don't go crazy. You don't want to go spending $30,000 on a bunch of domains you think are going to sell. Now, start small. Sell one first. Prove the concept first. Go out there and, and be strategic. And if it doesn't sell, make it sell. Right? Like, even, even though I have money to invest in these, I'm not going to go crazy, right? I'm going to be very strategic about what I want and why. And I'm going to think, what is it I'm buying this for? Like these here, what is the actual reason I'm buying it? Who is going to buy this? If you can't answer who's going to buy it, then you shouldn't buy it, right? You need to know exactly what you're going to do. Now, some of these... I think we got 84 available. I think of this list, my chances of making my $9 back is pretty safe, right? So I, I think we're looking okay. Let's try another one and then uh, we'll go from there. You guys digging this? We can go a little bit longer if you want. Type um, keep going if you want me to keep going. I'll be like AI, hey, you can just tell me to keep going and I'll just keep going. Um, influencer prompt, hey, um, da, 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 digital mar, market research pro, cust prompt, contempt prompt. Some of these are okay, growth hack prompt. I don't like the two H's together. Um, brand, there's a couple like influencer prompt, I'd, I'd bag that one, definitely. Um, how about some related, how about, how about some 200 domains with the word dental or dentist and relevant words, 12 letters or less, boom. So we'll keep going here. And I can go for another 10 minutes because I do have our uh, meme profits call after this. So now we have a lot of dentist ones. Do, 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 do. And again, like this is, a lot of people don't believe it, but this is what I do for a living. Like, this is what I do. Just go through like, hey, let's see what's available. Um, and now with AI, it has gotten so much easier. 
So we got Dental Center Pro, let's see, Dental Works Plus, Dental Wise, Dental Direct, Dental Places. And some of these you'll find there will be a zinger in here. Let's see, I liked uh, Dental Center Pro, Dental Wise. Try some variations with words like um, center, what else, budget, city, etc. Would you restructure these to make them more profitable before trying to sell or place them up for sale as they are? It depends on the name. Um, so like we're going to look at the name and say, okay, what can we do with this? And is it sellable as is? And again, what's our cash flow like? Now, here's the deal, guys. When we're dealing with AI, I could literally have AI build the site, get the content, make it build, and there we go, right? Super, super simple. Um, and that's kind of what we're looking at, like Dental Smile, that's 18 grand. That's, I mean, that'd be a pretty good one to buy for nine bucks if you were able to come across that. And that's what this is about. So here we have uh, dentistbudget.com and different things like that. Uh, let's see, dental care text, dentist budget. Interesting, dentist budget, dentist budgets. So there's some interesting stuff in there. And if you can start to look at like, okay, what is it that is actually selling? What is it that we can use? And how can we use this in a simple way? And when you start to look at that, it's like, okay, now I'm getting somewhere and I can use this in a very simple way. And then again, when I go to sell them, I'm gonna look at all this stuff and say, okay, well, uh, am I gonna put it at auction? If I put it at auction, you know, maybe I could sell it for a hundred bucks or a thousand bucks or whatever it is. And you might be surprised at some of them that sell. If we were to look at today's auctions, I don't know if I have it open here. Uh, let's see. GoDaddy auctions, GoDaddy auctions. Um, you're gonna see that some of these, like, they don't really make sense. Right, you're gonna see like, okay, um, maybe we'll go, go switch to classic because we like that. Um, but we're gonna see, okay, so that, I have no idea why this is worth so much. No clue. I mean, we could go to Ahrefs and see like, is it actually, you know, um, nothing. Like, so it's, it's literally nothing why is that worth money? Like if we go to the GoDaddy appraisal tool, it says 12,000. Now, I don't know, maybe it's a one word in a different language, but I mean, you look at that and you're like, wait a minute, why is that worth so much? And then you have stuff like organic life. Okay, I can look at that and say, come up with 12 letter domains with the word organic and some other dictionary word that makes sense, okay? And we're seeing that this is based on data, organic life, 15,000 already with six days to go. I think organic domains are gonna be pretty good. Uh, do you pay to promote the domains at auction? You can. But I mean, if you get good domains, people will come find you. And then another way to sell them that people don't talk about is put a page up. Like you guys know, um, I sell mine all the time over at domains.blogprofitnetwork.com. I have this simple little site that sells domains all the time. I just list them here. Um, and the cool thing is, is they will show up. So if you Google these, a lot of them will show up. Um, but we're seeing here, with this list, right, we have organic. So now we have these organic domains right here. And we can do bulk search. See what's there. Again, hit and miss. Some of them will show up. Organic verve, um, organic flex. That's not bad. 
Like, is it going to sell for 90 bazillion dollars? Probably not. But can I turn a profit on it? I think so. And organic flare, that's okay. Um, organic spire, organic dusk, organic whatever. Um, and you could just say, okay, keep going 200 more. All right, like this. What happens when the auction time is over? Can you sell it again? If it does not sell, yeah, you could put it back up. So here's some organic ones. It's waiting and waiting. Like this. And like I said, uh, watch this video a couple times because there's some things in here that you might have missed. There's some good stuff in here. This is literally one of the ways that I make a living. Um, here, go here. And then the video in the description will go deeper into it. And then download my notes dot com is where uh, you could get my notes. So we'll go here. I like that. And there's quite a few. So that's looking pretty good. All right, guys, if you guys dug this video, uh, smash that like button. I think there's a lot of good stuff that you can use uh, to turn a profit. This is a real actual business that you can use if you are focused. Um, virtual says what starting price? Well, if you want to get it to kind of boost up, you can just start it at the, the regular $12 or whatever um, and then let people bid it up or you could start it higher. I find that letting people bid it up usually is going to do better. Um, so you just kind of have to uh, focus on that. Do I have to pay to be on auction? I believe you pay when it sells depending on the place that you're selling it. So it'll be like a commission or whatever. Um, but a lot of times you'll just get an email that's like, hey, I want to buy your domain or whatever. Um, organic Lively, that's actually pretty good. Organic Cluster. So there's some in here that are pretty good. And I think in this training, if you go back through it, you are going to see there are some domains that probably will sell pretty good. So smash the like button. Check out the video in the description. Um, head over to downloadmynotes.com for the notes. And then if you want to be on my AI domain buying and selling training, check out blogprofitnetwork.com. That's my training where you can go on there every week. Every Tuesday we have a call. You can ask questions. Um, you can go through and, and get answers. You could ask about sites. You could ask about domains. And this week on, I think, when's, what's next Tuesday? I think it's the something. Whatever next Tuesday is, we're going to be talking. It is the 13th we're going to be talking about uh, AI and domains. So if you want to learn more about this, blogprofitnetwork.com is the place to go. We have calls every week. We've got all kinds of tools and stuff. Awesome stuff. That's where you can get training and learn from me personally if that's what you want to do. I think it's great. A lot of people are in there. Cool stuff. Have fun. Smash the like button. Check